fears grow that Thaksin has become a pawn for conservatives to break the eight-party Democratic Pact. Speculative reports being pushed by anonymous sources linked to Futai are briefing the media that Thaksin is at the center of a superdeal brokered in Hong Kong while this was also confirmed by anti-corruption campaigner Chow Whitcomb visit on Thursday. On Friday, new and conflicting reports suggested that Mr. Thanathorn Huang Rin Kit had agreed to get the Move Forward Party to reverse its position on Article 112 in return for the Bunjai Thai Party joining a government coalition. There are growing concerns that Thai politics may be about to take a new turn in the coming week with reports that a super deal is being brokered linking the return of former Premier Thaksin Shinawatra to Thailand with the participation of the Futai Party in a new coalition arrangement with conservative elements in a government to be formed before August 15. Thailand's anti-corruption activist Cha Wit Kamal Visit, on Thursday, explained to reporters at the Davis Hotel in Bangkok what he thinks is being orchestrated while veteran political activist, academic and the current acting leader of the Red Shirts or the United Front for Democracy Against Dictatorship, UDD, Ms. Theta Thavorinset says she worried that Mr. Thaksin is being duped and could already be a political hostage. Mr. Cha Wit Kamal visited his briefing on Thursday for reporters where he talked about a super deal brokered in Hong Kong which appears to link the return of ex-Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawatra to Thailand on August 10 to the formation of the next government. It raises concerns among pro-democratic activists as it betrays a lack of transparency and an implicit suggestion that Mr. Thaksin may be compromised politically because of the 10-year prison sentence hanging over him linked with convictions for corruption before Thai courts that his supporters say were politically motivated. A senior legal professor and expert at Chiang Mai University came out on Friday to question the reported activities of the former leader of the Future Forward Party, who has been linked with negotiations in the national media on Friday regarding a political super deal that reportedly was negotiated on Tuesday between the progressive movement and Mr. Thaksin Shinawatra, the former Prime Minister of Thailand with reports of high-level meetings taking place in Hong Kong. Mr. Thanathorn Huang Rin Kit, now the leader of the progressive movement is reported to have flown to Hong Kong from Bangkok on Monday. Mr. Thaksin is currently rumored to be returning to the kingdom on August 10 with the Corrections Department and the Immigration Bureau reported to be readying for his arrest at Don Muang Airport and subsequent detention. Chiang Mai professor questions the propriety and ethics of alleged talks in Hong Kong saying that forming a government should be transparent. On Friday, Professor Som Chai Priya Kazal Pakul of Chiang Mai University's Legal Research and Development Faculty of Law warned that voters in the May 14 general election expected straightforward politics in its aftermath. He questioned whether the current evasiveness and behind-the-scenes maneuvers linked with the so-called super deal undermine confidence in the political system. He suggested that it did, arguing that people wanted to see the formation of the next government conducted transparently and openly. Professor Som Chai said that. As a normal citizen and voter, he expected to see politics conducted in a straightforward manner and that currently, the Thai public was looking closely to see why Mr. Peter Limjaro and Rat was not elected as Prime Minister having formed an eight-party coalition representing the vast majority of the Thai public who voted in the May poll. He suggested that it was very important that, if efforts to elect Mr. Peter as Prime Minister have broken down, it was seen to be at the hands of conservative elements in the political arena. He noted that the current speculation attempts to obfuscate political developments in a way which undermines democratic principles. Cha Wit Kamal Visit gave an in-depth briefing to reporters at the Davis Hotel in Bangkok on Thursday. He said he was 80% sure Thaksin would return. His comments come as speculation rose on Thursday as political activist and truth-teller in old age, Mr. Cha Wit Kamal Visit formerly a massage parlor boss in hedonistic 80s and 90s Bangkok and later a colorful local politician, also added to the rumor mill with speculation that secret political negotiations were going on and that these negotiations were linked to Mr. Thaksin's sincerely held wish to return to Thailand to be with his family and grandchildren. The former PM has been exiled from the country in the face of criminal prosecutions and convictions for alleged corruption while he held office from 2001 to 2006. His supporters say the criminal charges and proceedings were politically motivated while Mr. Thaksin repeatedly during the general election campaign dismissed any suggested links between his planned return to Thailand and the politics of forming the next government saying that he planned to return to the country under the outgoing government of General Prachan Ocha which will still be the case. Redshirt leader fears that Mr. Thaksin may be duped by conservative-led powers in Thailand and could already be a political hostage doing their bidding. On Friday also, Ms. Theta Thavorn said. The acting president of the United Front for Democracy Against Dictatorship, UDD, questioned whether it was the case that Mr. Thaksin was misled by conservative elements in Thailand who currently still control the government, 
into linking his return to the kingdom to some perceived deal which would allow for the perception to develop that the Futai party was orchestrating a new dawn or reconciliation in Thai politics when in fact, she warned, it could lead to Mr. Thaksin becoming a hostage of conservative forces. It could also see the loyal support base of the Futai party deserting it for what will be perceived as a betrayal of its principles and pre-election pledges. Ms. Theta made it clear that any attempt by Futai to break ranks with their move forward party coalition partner and form a government with parties of the conservative establishment would see it crossing a line it could not come back from. Mr. Thaksin faces 10 years behind bars on his return to Thailand and reports from government circles this week have been suggesting that while he will be treated as a normal prisoner, there were special considerations in his case, with Deputy Prime Minister Sanu Kriya Ngam, the acting Minister of Justice appearing to go out of his way to suggest that authorities would be willing to make sure that Mr. Thaksin was treated in accordance with his seniority while a top official accepted that he was an important personage in Thai society and would need to be segregated and allowed additional visiting privileges. Chawit did not think Thaksin will be jailed for long if he arrives on August 10 next and is arrested. On Thursday, Mr. Chawit agreed with this assessment. He suggested that the prison system even with privileges and special considerations, was no place for the ex-Prime Minister who may be targeted by other prison inmates. He said it represented a risk to the current government. In his press briefing on Thursday at the Davis Hotel in Bangkok, Mr. Chawit predicted that the Bamjathai party will ultimately end up as the party forming the next government with any proposed Futai party nominee meeting with rejection from the Senate. Mr. Chawit suggested that a coalition put together by the Futai party, the Pulong Prakarat Party and Bumjathai Party would have 279 votes in the House of Representatives and the support of the Senate. On this basis, it would be able to elect a Prime Minister. New coalition with three key parties at its core, the Futai, Bumjathai and Pulong Prakarat parties to benefit Bumjathai in the long term. Formula 279 is a formula for success but it will be a formula to lend a helping hand to the Bumjathai Party in moving ahead of the Futai Party because both parties are bound together by the masses. Move forward will be clearly in opposition, he said at one point, explaining that politically this deal or accommodation will benefit the Bumjathai party at the loss of the Futai party which will have burned its bridges with its loyal support base or as Ms. Theta put it on Friday, anti-coup voters who are determined to see Thailand move towards real democracy. Ms. Theta also noted that while Mr. Thaksin had made a positive contribution to Thailand, he would have considered the kingdom as already a full democracy while the minds of modern voters in Thailand today have advanced since 20 years ago towards an expectation of unfettered democracy trusted by the people. Mr. Chawit acknowledged that his predicted outcome of the super deal would be contrary to the wishes of the population and the voting trend in the May 14 general election. Thaksin, as he is 74 years old, can apply for a royal pardon when he lands in prison but must wait a further two years if it is subsequently turned down. Mr. Thaksin is now 74 years of age and Mr. Chowit suggested that, according to the law, anyone over 70 years old can apply for a royal pardon. This was confirmed also on Thursday by Deputy Prime Minister Sanu Kriya Ngam, who qualified it by saying that once an application was made, it could not be made for a further two years. Mr. Chowit told reporters, on Thursday evening, that this concession did not apply to those within the military or police ranks who often had to give up their rank before they could file for a royal pardon. He told reporters that he thought that Thailand would likely have a new government in place before August 15 and said it was likely the new prime minister would be Mr. Sretha Thavison who, he joked, is known within the real estate business as Confucius. Superdeal links Thaksin's return and the next government. The news reports have been dismissed by the secretary-general of the Move Forward Party. Addressing the question of whether Mr. Thaksin will, in fact, return to Thailand on Thursday, August 10, he said the possibility of this is 80 percent and was linked to the super deal being forged. He also told reporters that he believed that Mr. Thaksin was currently located in Cambodia despite the meetings that took place earlier this week in Hong Kong and that he is waiting until August 10 to make his return. On Wednesday, with reports about the super deal circulating in Bangkok and being assiduously promoted by enthusiastic anonymous sources briefing the national media, Mr. Chaitawat Tulithan, the Secretary General of the Move Forward Party, dismissed them and confirmed that no delegation from his party had flown to Hong Kong to meet Thaksin to discuss preconditions for the formation of a new government. It has been made clear by these sources planning reports in the media that these discussions focused on excluding Move Forward from the next government. They suggested that move forward along with the Democrat Party and the United Thai Nation, Ruam Thai Sang Chart, party, would form the new opposition in parliament. Reports indicated that Mr. Thanathorn, 
the former future forward party leader and now leader of the progressive movement, flew to Hong Kong on Monday, aboard flight CX-700 on Monday and returned on Tuesday evening aboard flight HX-773. Country awaits a decision of the Constitutional Court before voting for the next Prime Minister can again be scheduled after being suspended this week. Meanwhile, the country awaits the decision of the Constitutional Court on the case referred to it by the Ombudsman earlier this week as to the legality of the vote in Parliament on July 19 based on a legal technicality as to whether it was primarily governed by parliamentary procedures under Rule 41 or the relevant sections of the 2017 Constitution with further votes suspended until the Court has ruled decisively. PM votes suspended indefinitely as Constitutional Court asked to review the last vote in Parliament. The earliest this may come will be next week if the court declines to take up the petition or dismisses it out of hand. Otherwise, it may drag on further if the court takes time to consider it. Futai Party schedules a meeting next week as the party continues to seek the move forward party's removal from the pact on a voluntary basis. If the court rules in favor of the petition, the move forward party is insisting on having Mr. Peter Limjaro and Rat's nomination proposed by the eight party coalition to parliament while others within the pact are calling for the eight parties to hold a united position until May 2024 when the Senate's voting power and the election of a prime minister expires. Next week, the Futai party plans to hold a meeting of the eight party bloc and is hinting, again through briefing sources, that the move forward party should withdraw voluntarily from it. However, Sources with the more radical party are predicting it to hold tight and advocate the unity of the bloc in the face of conservative demands and adherence to the democratic principle. This meeting, originally scheduled for last week, was postponed as events unfolded and the second-placed party in the May 14 poll met other parties linked with the outgoing government. It is now feared that the Futai party may be politically compromised or conflicted by the fate of Mr. Thaksin Shinawatra, who is understood to be its de facto leader and his imminent planned return to Thailand in opposition to the country's democratic future. Alternative Reports of Hong Kong's Super Deal Alternative reports being reported on Friday indicated that the involvement of Mr. Thanathorn Huang Ringruang Kit in the Hong Kong talks was concerned with getting the Move Forward Party to withdraw its controversial Article 112 reform proposals in return for the entry of the Bumjay Thai Party with its 71 MPs into a coalition arrangement. However, these reports suggest that Mr. Thaksin would be facing a long jail sentence if he lands back in Thailand and is imprisoned. Sources also suggest that Mr. Thaksin may have a problem with his continued exile outside Thailand and Dubai.